God didn't prevent him from going to the lion's den. God's not going to just like prevent you from doing something. Like you have free will. You have a choice to make on this earth. So if you praise God, if you have faith in God, then you will know that he will deliver you from whatever you're going through, right? Like if we want to produce fruit that remains, we need to let him lead us. We Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, again with the mic, without a stand, um, and I'm sorry, this is a different background. I wanted to switch it up a little bit. I wanted to switch it up. So today's video, if you guys are new to my channel, I create faith-based uh, related topics vlogs, fashion, lifestyle, all that good stuff. Today's topic I've touched on briefly in my other videos, but it is really near and dear to my heart because I feel like especially in this season, I'm going to share with you guys exactly why I'm filming this exact video. But many people might feel like their time is being wasted or they might feel discouraged because they're not hitting a certain milestone in their life. They're not this successful at this age. They're not making this enough money at this age. And I just want to let you guys know that time is not wasted with God. Like no season in your life goes unnoticed. Uh, no season in your life is not a season where God is preparing you for something ultimately greater. Um, it took me a long time to really realize that and figure it out because I would think, why am I doing this? Why am I not making this much money while my neighbor is making X amount? Like, why am I not doing this or why am I not reaching this goal? And a part of me had to realize that every milestone, every stepping stone in my life was for God's greater purpose. It wasn't going to be an overnight success. It wasn't going to be handed to me just because everyone else had this. And so if you're going through something right now and you feel like you're not really certain why this season is in your life or you never understand why, I just want to say that it is for a greater purpose. God is using you and preparing you for something greater. And so yeah, let's just get into more and more of it. Just a reminder that God develops us over time when we stay committed to the process, to his process, that is. I will also be sharing with you guys like Bible stories that really hit home on this topic. But for starters, I just wanted to say like, Abraham and Joseph, they did not bear a son for 25 years, and that didn't happen until they were old in age. Jesus didn't step into public ministry until the age of 30. Joseph was then sold into slavery by his brothers and became king of Egypt. And I, I want to highlight that you may not understand what God is doing in your life right now. You may not know why, but he is preparing you for greater things. One example that I've shared in my other videos was Chris Christine Kane. Everyone knows Christine Kane, a renowned speaker. She has nonprofits and she didn't start serving Jesus until the age of 21. And it took her 20 years to launch her nonprofit at the age of 41. And so that is 20 years in the making. That is 20 years of preparation. And so if you feel like what you are doing right now is going unnoticed, you feel like there's no reason for it. You feel like your job where you're at right now is awful. There's no point into it. Like, because that was me for a long time. I was like, what can God be teaching me in this certain season of life right now? And until you actually take a step back to really understand what he's doing, I promise you guys, like, it will become so much more clear. And then I'm not saying right now, but in a couple months or in a couple years, when you have a revelation of, oh, this is why God was doing this in my life, or this is how God was using me. Like it is, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. And that kind of happened to me when I lost my job in August. I was in a really low place. I didn't know what to do. Um, I had no income at the time. And I just remember like opening my Bible and really reading his word and just reminding myself of the promises of God. And in that season, I thought I thought that time was just being wasted. I thought I would get a job right off the bat. I thought there was going to be no waiting period for me. I thought a part of me really wanted to um, be monetized on YouTube. At that point, I think I had like 700 subscribers. So not even not even able to be monetized. But I, I really was like confident. I was like, okay, maybe God wants me to be a full-time YouTuber. And so I did that for a little bit. I started creating content. Um, I started resonating with people. I started relating to people and it didn't happen. It didn't happen on my timing. It didn't happen on my, and I say that on my timing because I so badly wanted it to happen. And I was giving God this timeline. Like this is, this, this is when I want to be not monetized, God. Like I really need the money right now. And I really just need you to show up. And when you show up, I'm going to be so grateful. And this is another reason why I wanted to film this video was because 
I reached a thousand subscribers a few days ago. At that point, I've said this in my other video, but I was at like 928 or 938, and this was December 19th. I distinctly remember pushing out the video. You guys, I hit a thousand subscribers. Better yet, I didn't just hit a thousand subscribers before 2024. I'm at 3,600 subscribers because of God. Grace be to God. Like he allowed my videos to reach people. He allowed people to find me, to find words of encouragement, to find Bible verses that I cited, to share their stories. Like it is amazing the amount of feedback and things that I've received from you guys because like I am so grateful. I was staying faithful to God. I really, really prayed. I was like, Lord, please, I pray that this channel takes off. And I know that there's going to be bumps ahead. Like, that's another thing that I do want to point out. Like, I am so aware of, yes, I went through that season in my life where I lost my job, where it was really hard, where there were a lot of losses in my family, all that stuff. And then I got a job. I got this amount of subscribers. I reached my goal. I did this. Um, my channel is picking up. I feel more confident. Like there are really, really good things right in my life. And I know that there are going to be other downfalls. Like I know that there are going to be roller coasters in my life. And I'm okay with that because if I can get through one season, I know by the grace of God, God is going to get me through this next season. And so I just want to keep reiterating the hope because I've, I've said this before in my videos multiple times, but you guys, once we have have our faith set on Jesus. Once we have our eyes fixed on Jesus, he is able to do immeasurably more. Like it is not based on under, our understanding. It's not based on what we want. It's based on what he is willing to give us. And once you start stewarding what you have well, that is when God gives you more. This is this is a story that I'm reading right now and I'm trying to apply it to kind of what I'm talking about right now in this video, but I'm reading the book of Daniel. And if you're not familiar with the book of Daniel, basically there's this, this King Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar is a, a man that has a lot of visions and he he asks Daniel to interpret it. This is also like the short, short version. There's a lot more detail, a lot more stuff. So I really recommend you guys read the chapter of Daniel, but he asks these wise men to interpret his dreams. All the wise men for Nebuchadnezzar cannot do it except Daniel. So Daniel does this. Nebuchadnezzar praises him, the king, but he also knows that Daniel submits to a higher God and he does not think that Nebuchadnezzar is the ultimate God, right? Like he is faithful to God. These three men go to Nebuchadnezzar and basically say, okay, put out a census, Lord, if you find that there are people praising a different God other than you, that they must be thrown into the lion's den. So basically, long story short, Nebuchadnezzar or puts out this decree. These three men catch Daniel praying to God three times in this in this certain day and go back to the king, basically say, well, Daniel, Daniel didn't listen to this. Daniel is going against you. Daniel does not even submit to you. He submits to a higher God. So, of course, Nebuchadnezzar at this point, he like likes Daniel. Like he doesn't want Daniel to get thrown into the lion's den just because he's the one that can interpret the dreams, right? Like he's doing this king a favor. And so, of course, Nebuchadnezzar, he has no other choice but to send Daniel into the den with the lions. And doing that, you guys, like God didn't save Daniel from being sent. <clears throat> God didn't prevent him from going to the lion's den. He let Daniel go into the lion's den. Essentially, the thing that I took out from this is God's not going to just like prevent you from doing something. Like you have free will. You have a choice to make on this earth. So if you praise God, if you have faith in God, then you will know that he will deliver you from whatever you're going through, right? And so Daniel was sent to the lion's den and Nebuchadnezzar is like, like if your Lord is real, then I hope that he can get you out of this basically. And Daniel was like, I know he will. Like he, his faith was so rooted and strong in God that he went into the lion's den with no problem. He prayed, he did all that. The next day, the king goes back to the lion's den to see if, obviously, he's alive, and he's alive. And the lion's mouths, they were closed shut. Like, God closed the lion's mouth, did not harm David, did not leave one mark on him. And it just goes to show you that God will not, not send you somewhere, but as long as you have faith and remain faithful in him, he will deliver you from that situation. Like, yeah, whatever you're going through right now might be really challenging or really hard and you may not understand why, but he will deliver you if you have that faith in him. Um, 
and going back to my story with like the thousand subscribers, like you guys, I say this because I, for a minute was so discouraged and thought this whole time I was wasting my time. Why am I producing content? If it's going to take me this amount of years to get a thousand subscribers, why would I continue to do it? Right. But I stayed faithful and I stayed consistent. And by the grace of God, like I was able to grow my platform and I hope that I can continue to grow this platform. But that just goes to show you like one thing, like if you stay the course, if you um, stay faithful to him, he will deliver you. He will work great things out. Like if we want to produce fruit that remains, we need to let him lead us. We need to get into the passenger seat. We need to let him be the one to drive our decisions, drive our lives. Um, and yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this touched one of you, um, or, you know, encouraged you in some way. Uh, but yeah, you guys, thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you so much for commenting on my videos, sharing my videos. Just, I'm really, really amazed. Like, <laughs> It, it, I don't even think it's like me. Like it, I can't even be like, oh, I'm doing good. Like it's, it's not even me. It's, um, it's all to him. So thank you guys so much for watching my video and I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one. Oh, also happy new year's.